The countries of the Arab world are acutely exposed to the effects of climate change, including soaring heat waves, declining rainfall, extended droughts, and rising sea levels. In many instances, climate change will sharpen pre-existing vulnerabilities related to conflict, displacement, corruption, and years of socioeconomic marginalization. Our compendium of essays unpacks the effects of climate change in nine Arab countries, arguing that governments in the region need to adopt more holistic reforms that protect vulnerable citizens and also involve civil society actors in climate adaptation. Palestinians will be deeply impacted by climate change in the years to come. With the eastern Mediterranean set to see a drop in rainfall by 20 percent, water scarcity will be one of the biggest challenges that they face. Palestine's determined contribution to deal with climate change offers two scenarios. One, where Palestine is a fully sovereign state, and another where Israel maintains its military occupation. With no possibility of Israeli-Palestinian peace breaking out anytime soon, Palestinians will be without the policy tools that they need to uh, deal with climate change and water scarcity. Regardless of whether Palestine is a sovereign state or whether the occupation persists, regional solutions to water scarcity need to be devised. Already efforts are underway with Israel, Jordan, and the Emirates to sell solar energy for water. Palestine has not yet been brought into the equation. Doing so might be a way to solve some of Palestine's uh, water scarcity problems and build the foundation for Israel-Palestine peace, but only if it's done so in a way that supports Palestinian rights. Egypt is the most populous country in the Middle East and North Africa and is highly impacted by climate change. The country has been suffering from rising sea levels, greater water scarcity, desertification, as well as rising temperatures. In order to address these climate risks, Egypt's government needs to invest more in renewable energy projects, needs to measure the trade-offs between water scarcity and investing in agricultural projects to afford food security, which Egypt has been suffering from as well, and the government needs to listen to representatives of different vulnerable communities which are most impacted by climate change. Libya is an oil-dependent, water-stressed country that is especially vulnerable to global warming. But years of conflict and political divisions have prevented any real climate action. Libya's leadership will need to move the country beyond the production of hy hydrocarbons to explore renewable energy sources like solar and wind. It will also need to adopt reforms that protect citizens from climate impacts already underway. These reforms should include greater decentralization to empower cities and towns. They should also include greater protection for civil society groups who have important roles to play as well. To learn more about the looming challenges of climate change in the Arab world, and what governments, citizens, and outside actors can do, check out our new compendium.